Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you how to use Adobe Express. So maybe you wanna design something that looks professional and you're not a designer. Well, no problem at all with Adobe Express. There's so many things that this program can do and all you need is your browser. And the tools are very simple to use, a lot of drag and drop, and they have such professional looking templates that you can modify. But you can do even more than that. You can take images, remove backgrounds, you can trim your videos, you can make QR codes, and even edit PDFs in this Adobe Express. So I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Express today. So this is for beginners, but this is a perfect program for beginners. And if you're looking to design something that looks so professional, and even in the free version of this, you get so many options. Let's show you today how to use Adobe Express on Teachers Tech. I'll put a link to Adobe Express down below in the description so you can click on that and log in or sign up for a free account. Um, I'll also timestamp everything in this video so you can take a look in the description also and see all the parts of this video that I'll be covering and then you can jump to a certain part if you're looking for something specific. Let's get started with Adobe Express and log in now. In this Adobe Express tutorial, I'm going to go over three different projects to show you how to uh, customize them to your liking or creating from scratch. And I also want to show you this quick action here because there's lots of cool things that you can do here from editing images, video, even creating QR code. And I really like this feature of uploading a PDF where you can edit pages out or combine PDFs. But let's start with a quick walk around here, uh, over here in the top left hand corner. If you're creating a new project, you could hit this and you get to see everything right away how you want to start. So there's just multiple ways into it. You can also search up top for anything. Uh, as you can see, as they drop down, you get all the different categories. And even at the bottom, they're noticing that I don't have any. I could hit get started here. So there's many different ways uh, to get to the projects. And if you have a project already, you can just go to your projects. In this case, you can see that I don't have any, but again, I could start from here. So many different ways to go into this. So I wanna start a first project here. Uh, it's gonna be a poster, because I want to just show you how you can change um, uh, change your graphics very quickly. So I want to make a poster and I want to save time using a template and right away I go down to posters and I can see a few here. I want to point out uh, I'm in a premium account right now. Whenever you see the uh, star, the crown like this, uh, it says I have access because I have a premium account. If you're getting that on the free account, you wouldn't have access to that. So I just want to point out when you see that crown, that would be the difference between a free account and a premium account. Uh, take a look, scroll through at all the different, uh, different graphics that you can modify here. Uh, there's so many here. Now I could go through and look at the different posters here to see what I may want to start from here, or maybe I want to do a search. So let's say I want to have it for a uh, poster tournament. And you can see I have a, a search here from a previous one and I'll just click on it. I could have typed that in. And let's say this is going to be a basketball tournament that I need to create. So I probably could find here right away. I could start from scratch here. Um, and this looks more like one I could use right away. So I'm going to hit start. And I can start manipulating this right away. But first of all, I want to just make it a little larger here and I can increase the zoom in. You can see I have a few shortcuts here. I'm going to go up to 50% and I can see, well, 2020 is in the correct year. So I'm just going to go ahead and select in there. So I just double clicked on this part. And at this point, I can go over to the text on the right hand side and put the year in and it updates it just like that. Now I can even do more to this if I wanted to change the size or even the font or the color right through here. So if I click on text color, I can make, make some adjustments. So if I wanted it to be the red, uh, you can see how it makes the change right away to it. So if I wanted it to be a little brighter, I'll go to a yellow and I'll just leave it like this for this example here. And if I click off, it goes away. Maybe I want this a little larger. Uh, you can see how I can adjust the uh, different font size here, or I could even just type in a number. So if I make it 100, it went slightly larger there. So very easy to start to make these changes. But let's say if I wanted to even add uh, more here, uh, maybe I want something that uh, says the date on it, the specific date, I could go over and add more to this. So if I go uh, to this over to the text, I could click here 
And right away, I get some examples that I might want to uh, be putting in. And these, some of these actually have, uh, I can see dates set up in these uh, as I go through. But this will be kind of the, the setup already of it. And I can manipulate them. If you see the crown again, that's a premium one. And I'm just going to select this first one here. So I'm going to select this July 4th uh, as it. So I'm just clicking on it uh, to make sure it goes into it. And you can see right like that. I actually didn't, I accidentally clicked it twice. And so I'm just going to go to this top one, hit delete, and it's gone. So now I can start manipulating this in a few different ways. So you notice with this object here with the font in it, there's a couple different things here. There's actually a shape here. And then there's font on the shape or inside the shape. So if I just click this once, I get these handles on the outside that I can manipulate uh, this, the size of it, and I can move this around the entire group of the font and the, of the shape. Uh, notice if I bring it up, it's on top of the basketball tournament here. And if I look over, these are my different layers, what's happening. Uh, so if I wanted to below the tournament, uh, I'm going to go up here and I can change the layer order. So this will, if you'll notice, this will happen with lots of different objects when you place them on. So if I go through down once, I'll go down again. So now it's below basketball. If I bring this up, you can see it's below basketball. And if I bring it uh, down again, uh, and, and now it's below 2022 and now it's below. So uh, you can manipulate this very easily. I can uh, drag it to the top again, just like that. So you can change all the orders of layers very quickly. Now, let's say I wanted to change uh, the color of the shape. If I, so right now I have in, it entirely, uh, entirely selected. So I could make the transparency change over here of the group. You can see if I wanted to be a little bit see-through, I can adjust it here. But if I just click in a bit, now I get these white handles and this is the color of the shape. So if I go to it, I can customize the shape to a different color uh, if I wanted to select one very easily. Now that would be a terrible one because it's the, the same uh, color of the background. But I can undo too. So I just want to point out the undo up top here. Uh, I'm going to change the size. I'm going to zoom up again to make this a little larger. Uh, now, if I want to change the font inside of here, I'm just going to double click in here and you can start to see now I have the 4th of July selected where I could edit text. And let's say this was going to be uh, in March. So I'll just type March and it's going to be on March 4th. And I'll just write it like that. And I'm going to go up to here and maybe I don't even want this here. So I can just go ahead and this is selected. Notice I can even change how I want to align it, but I want this gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit delete. And I'm going to go uh, to this one here, just double click in it again and get my handles and I can move it up slightly to even centered in. So I can start to make all these different changes to it. If I just wanted uh, another font in here, in here too, so if I go back, I'll make this a little smaller. I go back to my text over here and I just want to point it up out, out here. You could just add text this way too. So if I select it, it kind of gives you uh, a place to enter your text here, uh, then you can start to manipulate it this way. Now, when this opens up, and I'm going to delete this one and go back to this one right here. So I'm just going to go make this larger. Now with this one, if I double click in here and go back to the uh, text, notice that we have more options that I didn't show you before. We do have effects. If we wanted it on the shape, we can uh, just select different ones here and then it can go through and add uh, different shadows and everything to this. So you can see right now it's outlined with uh, the white there. I can change the color here. Uh, to different ones to manipulate it just like that. So you can go through and play with all these different ones. They also have recommendations too. So if I wanted to use one of the recommendations, I can just go ahead and select it and it changes like that. So very easy to manipulate all these things. Uh, and if you wanted it even to be curved, you can look at this and you can change it around and do all these changes. So I'm just going to actually go back a couple of steps here. Uh, just leave it like that. And I want to add one more thing in this and I'm going to zoom back out. Let's add a picture. So I'm going to go over to photos here and let's say I want a basketball player. So I'm just going to type basketball right like this. And I know I'm not making a great graphic here, but I just want to show you how different things work in here. Uh, so 
let's say I want to put this picture here. Maybe this is for kids and I'm going to select this picture. As soon as I select that, uh, it's in. But I don't like how the, the square, the rectangle is around that. Uh, we can change that also. Uh, I can cut out so simply in this. Look, if I select this, I can go now over and I get all the different things I can do to the images. I could remove the background. And so it takes out the background, even in a picture like this, uh, look how well it did as that. So now I have all these different uh, uh, options over here. I'm just going to hit the check mark. And now I've added a picture. You can see it's on the top layer. I can move it around. I'll zoom back out here. And I have some dates on here. I have the picture. Uh, maybe I start to decide, well, I want this down here in the corner, uh, just like this. You can make all these adjustments to it very, very easy. Now, you've added all your different things. You could go through and even test out shapes and all these design assets over here. Uh, but let's say you're done and you want to download it. Just go up here. You can see we can download it in different file types, PNG, JPEG, PDF, depending on how you want to share it. And we can share it up here too. So do we want to publish this? If you publish it, it will get a link. Uh, that we can get to uh, that maybe you want to do this on social media. You can see how it's even connected from classroom to teams if you're in a school setting here. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to go back to share here. I can even send to my uh, Google Drive. I can invite people to work on this or even make a template out of this. So have some fun. Just pick a graphic and start adding changes to it and seeing all the different ways that you can uh, manipulate it to customize it just like you would like to. So where does this document live? It gets saved automatically. If I look right here, see it says saved. I never even gave it a name or anything. It's just called my project. I can just click in here and let's call this uh, just basketball. And uh, I have a name for it. And now when I go back to home, I can go navigate things like this. Uh, it brings it back here. And down at the very bottom, I have recent. But if I go to my projects, you'll be able to see this one I created. I can invite people from here. I could go back and edit the project. I can go and do all these different options uh, to it, even make a duplicate a duplicate of this. So uh, that's how you would navigate a little bit uh, with your different projects. Let's go back to home here. Uh, this time when I want to create something else, I want to create a slideshow because this is a great one uh, to be uh, how it walks you through creating a slideshow in here. It's a little different than your typical one. So I'm going to go ahead and select slideshow. Slideshow is different from presentation. I'll give a quick presentation demo in a bit, but I'm going to go ahead and select this. With selecting a slideshow, this really walks you through the process. So let's say uh, the idea, and I recently took a trip to New York, and I'm going to go and use that as my starter. And what's it going to be? Well, you can see I can do all these different ones here. And all these, can you can edit it any way you want, but it's just walking you through. This is great with students. So I'm going to pick this one. Tell what happened. So I'm going to go ahead, pick this one, and then it's going to go and load up the slideshow with a bunch of slides in it uh, that I can manipulate. So right away, I just want you to look at the bottom where it says who, when, where, uh, at all these things. So it's going to go through and ask the important questions. So let's start with the who. So on this first slide, I'm going to go and add some text and an image here. Now I'm going to just hit the plus right here and I'm going to go ahead and choose a photo. You can see I can add text, photo, an icon or video through here, but I'm not going to add that. I'm going to go to photo and I'm going to upload a photo. There is Adobe Stock. If you have an account to Adobe Stock, you could be using those. I don't have those. Uh, I can also be, if I click alternate resources, you can see I look can look for free images, take a photo, all these different options. I can even pull from my Google Drive. Now I'm going to upload and I'm just going to grab this picture. And notice it's too large. I can adjust the size of this one. If I hit the edit, I can shrink it down like so. And let's say I just leave it like that on where it's going to be centered. I'm just going to click off of it and let's see what we have so far. If I hit the play here, it gives me an idea. 
Notice there's some music in it and it's only two seconds long. I could change this if I want to. Uh, maybe I wanted it to be four seconds long. I could drag it and now it's gonna last a little longer on it. So you can go through each one. Now, uh, another thing I wanna do is add text. So I could go back to here add a text or icon. Notice I can't add the multiple pictures in it, but I could add a text and I could just, I'm just gonna say us, just like that. Now I can click on this text and move it around if I want to change it uh, in a different location. Now I wanna bring your eyes over here to the right hand uh, of the screen where it says layout. With any of these slides, I can choose the layouts that they show here. Uh, so if I wanted it to be a caption, uh, as I uh, click on it now, you can see that it is highlighted uh, on this one here. Uh, I can make this text larger or I could uh, delete it also. I could choose a split screen if I wanted to change it uh, differently to put uh, things or switch it back and forth. So you can play with those uh, those ways. Now, uh, I'm going to go to uh, the next slide here and when and where. So if I went back to uh, photo, I could go to here. I'm going to go to the free ones, other free ones. And if I just type, you can see it's going to search Pixabay. So if I type New York, like so, and I can go and grab an image that I think that would capture it. So if I just grab this one here, this goes uh, to the background here. This one's only at two seconds long. So let's say uh, if I wanted to uh, go back to this first slide, I want to add some voice to it so I can record something. So let's do a short example. I have to allow access to my microphone. So now if I go ahead and select it, I have to press and hold to do this. In September, we got to take a trip to New York City. So now if I go, I could re record this if I want. If I'm gonna go back to here. In September, we got to take a trip to New York City. So I've all, now I've added some uh, voice to it. That music's a little loud. Where's the music? Take a look over to the right. We can go to uh, music up here. Do I want it to be a little bit differently? You can see I can change the volume level too or turn it off and I could add my own music. So maybe I want this to be brought down a little bit and I could uh, just uh, try different music if I want to try uh, any of these ones here. So if I go back. In September, we got to take a trip to New York City. So again, now this has started. Uh, I could go here, add some more comments. So this works well for t uh, telling stories when you're recording. And if it's, again, a student, they could go through and record this. I'm not going to complete the whole uh, slideshow here because I think you're going to understand how it works. I do want to point out up top here that we do have uh, themes that we could choose. So if I was gonna uh, go through any one of these, if I was gonna pick, uh, let's say this, uh, what happens is if I go to this first one, you can see the kind of the colors changed and now that the font has changed, I can choose this to be a different color, but it makes it really simple uh, to go through uh, with this. Now I could go through each one, add videos, add pictures to each of these. Uh, Take a look at the different options where you can resize this. Now, are you going to use this maybe for something like Instagram versus the widescreen that's 16 to 9? Uh, up here, we can preview what it would look. So if I go ahead and click on In it. In September, we got to take a trip to New York City. So now you get an idea of all the different, uh, how it's looking, how people would see it on full screen. And these slides are still counting as part of the time here, but I haven't added anything to them. Now play with this, make a presentation. And again, when you're ready to share, you have options. Are you working with anybody else on this? You can add people. Uh, do we want to share this? So publish, invite, send to Google Drive. Do we want to download it? You can see that there's some options for that. So take a look at it sharing this because they, these can make some really nice uh, slideshows on this one. Uh, I'm going to stop this one. And when I go back here, I'm going to navigate this way. Now I have another project in here. If I go back, uh, you'll see some other uh, ones that I've created kind of open and closed uh, as I went along. If I don't want any of these ones, I can just go and delete these just like that. But 
Then I have the two different projects. I'm going to delete this one too that I've created here today. Let's go back to home. And I just want to really quickly show you presentation uh, as a different option. So let me quickly show you the features with a presentation. So if I select presentation uh, right away, let's say I want to add a title. This one's going to be about uh, just about dogs. So I'll keep it really simple. Not even going to bother adding a subtitle. I do want a picture to this. So I'm going to hit this. Uh, plus here, add my photo, and I'm going to go to uh, free ones again. I could upload, take a picture, all of those things I showed you before. So I'm going to use free and let's search Pixabay for dogs and we'll find a picture that we like. We're just going to go with this first one right here. Now I get an idea of kind of the default, what it's set to. We do have themes up in the top uh, right hand corner, just like with the uh, slideshow I showed you before. I can select a few of these to see uh, what I like. I'll leave it at this one. And now what I do is scroll down. As I scroll down, it gives me another spot. What do I want to add now? Do I want to add, add some text? And I could go ahead and I'm just going to say all about dogs just as an example. And what else can I add? So let's go back and we'll add a photo again and I can go back and it's going to search because it already had that one. And I'm just going to select this one. So this is a premium one. So if I was leaving, uh, if I did have it paid for, then that wouldn't be working. I could have a caption in this one. So you can see as I'm hitting plus, I'm adding more information. I could add a video. Uh, maybe a YouTube video, but I could use Vimeo or different ones. So I just copy paste the URL, hit save. And now I have all this information that's going through. And it's going to be scrolling down. Other things I could add, I could add a button. So like a call to action. So if I go and uh, give the button text, I just put the URL here where I wanted to go. And then when I send this out to people, I could, it will go to wherever that is. So if I just go and put dogs on this one here, and I'll just use the same URL that I did before in the video, hit save, this is going to be a link out to that video in a different way rather than embedding it. Uh, I'm just going to go up to preview here so you can start to see what it's looking like. Uh, it would start at the top. I go down and it's going to be all this information that I'm putting uh, into it. Hit the X to get out. Uh, and just a couple other examples I want to show you. You can put photo grids, a uh, glide show in here, a split layout. Uh, so just like I showed you before, you could split it at this point and put something on one half and something else on the other half. So if I was adding an image, I could add it here. I could add text or another photo or button or video uh, here. So if I was going to uh, write something here, you could put some more info and keep scrolling down. I just want to show you the uh, glide show here. So if I select it, I could go and if I just pick a few different ones, again, this I'm picking ones out of Adobe uh, stock that won't let me uh, save or share this out without the license. But I just wanted to show you a demo as I scroll down. If I hit preview and it loads up, uh, again, I'm throwing things on here very quickly and you can see just how well the graphics look and how easy it would be to manipulate as I go down it fades through to the different images that I have. So it's been putting all the credits where I'm getting all the different information through uh, on it. I'm going to exit out here. We share the same way that we did before. So if we hit share, you can see how you can send to Google Drive, publish and share the link. You can print it, invite on it. We do have some settings over here to show the header or the footer that we can turn on or off, but very easy to create a presentation that looks very good with a lot of information and easy to share. So lastly, in these videos, I just want to point out all of these, try a, a quick action. And remember, we can go over here and all these quick actions will be here that you can quickly see this way. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all. I'll just go through an example of each one, but you can see how we can resize, convert uh, different ones. So if I go to remove background and I could use the sample here, but let's just say I go to that same one of me and my wife on this one, busy background, everything on this one. 
I all I have to do is bring it up in here and it will go through and it took out the background very well. And that was, now I can go ahead and download it. So just simply selecting, bringing one up, and they do have a practice file that you could go with there too. But take a look at all the different options that you can do with images. We have video. Let's just say we wanna trim uh, video, but you could even merge videos here too. We can trim, I'll just use the sample one, and we just have to bring in, and you can see how the time changes here. And we could change it to maybe a square video or even uh, you can see all the different options here that we have. And then we can go and go to download. So very easy. We can even drag a uh, video to uh, pan this too. So very easy to manipulate these using the quick actions. Uh, we have QR code. You want to create a QR code for something? Well, just go ahead, create that QR code. Let's paste that video of the dogs that I had back in there, create a QR code, and then it's done. I could go ahead, change it to this design, even change the color, download it. So then I could go ahead and put this in a presentation. People put their phones up and they'll get to that video and all they have to use is the QR code. Uh, lastly, we have PDFs in here. We can convert to PDF. We can convert from PDF. We could edit. So if I just say edit here, if I go and drag one in here, a PDF, I'm just dragging from my computer, it will bring it up here, upload the document. And at that point, once it's uploaded, you can start editing it. Now here's the document all uploaded as I go through. You can see it has the pictures in here. I can select things, I could hit, del I can take things out of here. You can see the garbage can, delete. I could go into the text and start changing any of the text here or taking different text out here, just the same way that I was showing you before. You could just start typing whatever you want in here. So it's just telling me the original font isn't there, but when you're done, hit your download and it comes back down as a PDF. So great way uh, to edit PDFs, organize the pages, even combine multiple PDFs. So give Adobe Express a try. So even if it's the free one, you're gonna have lots of op options to make some really fantastic creations and doing quick actions like this uh, to uh, change some videos, images, or PDFs. So I hope you like this walkthrough here tour of Adobe Express. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with more tech, tip, tech tips and tutorials.